We've got Troy today from Mitotoyo. We're going to be talking a little bit about the SJ210 and then one you might upgrade to the, the 300 series or the 400 series at the end of the video. Great, thanks Arthur. No problem, thanks Troy. Good day everybody. Today I have the Mitotoyo SJ210 Portable Surface Roughness Tester. Uh, this is a skidded style detector which is best suited to flat material. It comes with a standard force styli. It's also available with a light force. We have a removable drive unit here which can be removed and you can add the included one meter extension cable if you wanted to use this unit outside of the device or attached to a height gauge. There we go. What kind of parts or surfaces can we check with this then? We're, we're generally looking for surface roughness on flat parts or if it's a round turn part on a lathe along the axis of a part. So along the axis, so we're going like against the grain, like that turning, those machining marks? Yes, absolutely. So with a roughness tester, um, just the nature and the physics of it, you always want to go against the grain. That way the diamond can fall inside of every little peak and valley on the material. If you go with the grain, it would go inside of one groove and would not give you an ac accurate reading. That makes a lot of sense. Notice you've got a calibration plate here. Mm -hmm. Is it important? How often would you calibrate it? You know, I would probably calibrate it once a day just to make sure that it's uh, within specification. But generally, once it's calibrated, it will be like that for a very, very long time and probably would not change at all. So if I wanted to check, say, the bore here inside this part or along the top here, as long as I'm going against the grain, everything's good. Absolutely. Okay. So an example would be on a round feature like this, you would want to go against the grain like that. You could yep. not go in this direction here. Right. So then if we're checking the radius of a part, regardless of the way the grain goes, if we go across like here, we're going to have like that high spot and this styli isn't capable of following that on the 210 model. Yeah, that's right. This is a skidded style detector and this is the datum surface here. So it must go along a, a flat surface. It would not be able to go over the radius because the it would over travel and the diamond wouldn't detect uh, the material, wouldn't make surface contact. Okay, and so it's got, the detector then would have to have a way to let us know when it's in proper range? Yep, absolutely. So it has a bar on top that is red, and when you make contact with the material, it turns blue. Um, you do have a range of about six millimeters here to play with. Okay. My only question then is when, because this is more of the entry level from what I understand, and from the customers I've helped, that's, that's kind of how they use it. If they want to use basic surfaces, they want to check the surface finish, instead of using that thumb reference gauge, they'd go with the 210. Absolutely. But when would they want to look at upgrading to the 300 series or the 400 series? Okay, so, so just to backtrack a little bit, this SJ210 unit does come with optional detectors. You can get a deep groove detector, a small hole, an extra small hole, a gear tooth detector. But once again, its limitations are, are flat material. So okay. if you wanted to jump up to uh, our SJ410 series, that would allow you to use a skidless style detector, and that allows you to detect the surface roughness over wavy or, uh, or radius material. Okay. It also allows you to get into much deeper grooves and smaller grooves because the limitation here is the width of the detector itself. On a skidded, skidless style detector, uh, you have almost like a needle on here, and you can get different lengths of needles. You can go into a very narrow groove. So when would you go for the 300 series then? The 300 series is very similar. It has the same drive unit. It has the same detector and the same limitations, but it has its separate module with a, a touch screen and a uh, printer built in. Okay. So not quite as portable. Um, you wouldn't want to bring that into a shop at a machine. Uh, this one would be more suited to bringing right into a machine but the, the 310 series would be great for a QC lab or a setup like we have here. Right, so if you had a marble slab in your inspection room, put the 310 series down, you're good to go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we talked about printers. Is there any other way to get data out of these surf tests? Yes, there is. You, you can get the optional printer for this. It also has a micro SD card built in. Okay. And you actually can hook in one of our U-Wave wireless data Bluetooth transmitters to this and transmit the data d directly to a PC with the press of a button. Perfect. So whatever way you want to collect it, whether you're writing it down from the screen or sending it wirelessly, you're set. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you, Troy. Is there anything else we should know about this? It does come with the, the specimen for calibrating the unit. Okay. And a calibration plate here. Well, thank you, Troy. <laughs> <laughs>